ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy and animal animal and I'm bringing you a new video that is replacing my last OBS with Elgato video. This one is going to be short and to the point. It's going to explain to you exactly how to use Elgato game capture software with the OBS studio layout and overlay because it's OBS is honestly to me better software to stream. It works better. I'm sorry, Elgato. You just got to make it more simplistic for people to be able to use and be able to have more free range for creators to be able to make what they want to truly have happen and make it just copy OBS. That's all I got to say. Okay, get back to the video. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to have a scene. You're going to want to create a scene and then you're going to want to do a source. The way you can add a source is you can either click on that little plus sign right there or you can right click which is what i do and then you go to add you're going to go to add video capture device this is what people don't understand you have to do the video capture device because the elgato is a video capture device it's like a webcam exactly the same thing to obs so we're going to name it we're going to name it elgato whoops can't type today You're going to click this drop down menu that says devices. I have two things right there. My webcam that I'm currently using. And then there's Elgato Game Capture HD. Click that. Your screen will go black for your PlayStation or Xbox. And then it will pop up. You'll click OK. And if it's ever like this, make sure the red box is still around it. You can either do Control F, which will fit it to the screen. Or you can go down, you can right-click on it, you go to Transform, and you go down to Fit to Screen. That's what you guys want to do. That's answering the question in my last video that I made about OBS. And I hope this video was very, not like, I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. And I hope it was more to the point like you guys were critiquing me about how I rambled on. And you had to skip to a certain point in the video if you didn't want to hear me talk. I hope this was very informative and I'm going to continue making continue to be making OBS videos in the future explaining how I do my stuff and how to do things that are actually kind of hard to do because OBS makes it hard. I hope you guys all had a lovely day and I hope you guys have a beautiful tomorrow. Adios and have a good day.